So no gain on the first place. Second down and 10. Costello to throw. Pass underneath is caught out over the 30-yard line. Yeah, yeah. Glad to see the rubbers in for him here at Mississippi State. Tough to see him go down. Well, the Bulldogs with their second possession will open up with a pass to Malik Heath, and that one is caught a gain of about seven. And pick up six, seven yards on first down. They'll hand it off. That'll go to Jaquavius Marks, the true freshman running back. And again, if you're just joining us, no Kylan Hill today. Little pitch left side. There goes Marks inside the 40 down to the 39. Dog first down. And you see the big splits in there by Mississippi State. This is what you want. If you're going to only rush three, you must be able to run the football. And you see the way they're moving people up front. This is a great job. Everything's working right now. Costello shoves it forward to Marks. Dylan Johnson now checks in at running back. He works to the left of K.J. Costello. He'll fake it that way. Costello going deep down the middle, and this one is picked off in the end zone by Miles Jones. Really good coverage on the outside from Miles Jones, who in his career has 24 career pass breakups, but they called him the best covered guy. And watch him go get that football. That ball was a little bit inside. He gets a little pressure in his face as he lets that football go. And it leads to the ball being too far inside, and Miles Jones makes it pay. This is an AM offense averaging over 27 points a game, 287 through the air. They will get it to the tight end, Jalen Watermeyer, who had five catches last week. Boy, he is such an exceptional athlete per game here after three contests in 2020. They'll come near side with it, Isaiah Spiller. Out over the 35 to the 37. Fred Peters, the first one there for the Bulldogs. Spiller stands behind Kellen Mond. Here's Spiller. Nice cutback. He'll have the first down, getting close to midfield. You see, nice job up front. Watch these guys zone blocking. Getting up to that second level is what you like. You cut off that back end. Well, here it's first down and 10. We're still looking for our first points. Handoff, Spiller, run out of bounds. Bread and butter play here for Texas a &M. You see every guy reaching, trying to get to that neck. The Maroon Goons trying to create some space for Spiller. Tyrus Wheat making the tackle for the Bulldogs. Behind his quarterback, Kellen Mond. Isaiah breaks the tackle inside the 30, almost broke another one east of the 25. This drive has totaled 40 yards in three plays. First down and 10. Spiller again, running behind his tight end, Watermeyer. Good work of Isaiah Spiller. Will they throw it here? Nope, they'll keep it on the ground. Why not? It's worked to this point. Spiller gets it close to the line to gain. Here's Spiller, Smith, excuse me, coming near side. He's inside the 10, down to the 5. The hand is to Spiller, just powers his way into the end zone. Yard touchdown. A nice job again. The reach blocks get into the second level, and Spiller is put in the hands of K.J. Costello to make a play. Costello flushed out of the pocket. And he is dragged down to the turf. Aaron Hansford with the sack. Game versus Vanderbilt. Originally played wide receiver when he first came to AM and does a good job of just getting upfield. Had a career high 11 tackles against Vanderbilt. And their opener. And that one is blocked. They make him pay here as we watch the block punt again. Hand it off to Spiller, trying to get his nose across the goal line. Does that and a whole lot more. Touchdown, Aggies. Fucker day. And then you see just a downhill physical run there. Trying to get this offense clicking, and that's going to take some first downs, and that's not how you do it. To Marvin Leal. 
They try to bring another guy. You see him coming off this right edge of KJ here. Just look at the move up front, the spin move. Down 14 near midfield. Maybe you got two cracks at it, right, to pick up this first down. The blitz comes and down goes Costello. Mike Elko, the defensive coordinator, said we got to choose our times when to bring pressure. And they brought an overload blitz to that right side. Just too many guys to block. And this ball has to come out of the hand. Would not look good on me. <laughs> Just saying. Here's Spiller. Nice cutback. Out over the 30. That's a gain of 12 and a first down. Let's get an update. Matt, what's going on? What his defense is doing, but not happy with the penalties. They want to clean that up this half. First play to Isaiah Spiller off the left side. He'll pick up 14 yards and a first down. Big, powerful, fast tight end. Well, he is a difference maker. Speaking of difference makers, here's another one. Isaiah Spiller with a first down and more. Brought down on the back end by Colin Duncan. Try to keep those standards going, but you never know what other people are doing around you. That one is picked off. Emmanuel Forbes, he will take it to the end zone. The break the Bulldogs needed. The pick six by the true freshman. This will pick you up, and this is just uh, a bad happenstance for Kelly Munn. Good deflection, and Emmanuel Forbes just happened to be in the right spot at the right time. And he knows what to do with the football with the ball in his hands. Continue to groom this program to be where he wants it to be. Bond dumps it off underneath. There's Lane again. A lot of room to run. It's a foot race to the end zone. Touchdown, Texas A&M. What a response here from Texas A&M. And Kelly Mon being patient. Nothing really down the field. Checking it down. And a simple five-yard shallow cross route turns into a big-time touchdown for Chase Lane. Yeah, a lot of four and five stars litter. <laughs> that wide receiver core for Texas A&M. What a young freshman. K.J. Costello, we have seen this song and dance over and over again. Loose football picked up by Jaden Peavy. Also, K.J. has to do a better job of holding on to this football as well. You get pressure, protect the football, and knocks that football out right there. And look at the big man, Jaden Peavy, rumble there, looking for daylight. Thought he was going to have a clear walk into the end zone. But you see Michael Clemens right there at the end, knocks that football out. And what about the big man, Jaden Peavy, with the, the pick, the scoop? One of his best games today with the physicality matching Mississippi State. Take it to Spiller underneath to Smith. Touchdown, Texas A&M. Little misdirection. Watch a little eye candy. Everybody going left, and you bring a nice Smith back across the formation. Some depth there, trying to find a combination that'll work. And down goes Rogers. Your center Cole Smith is only a sophomore, so it's a young offensive line as well. Pass caught by Malik Heath. Stays on his feet. Does he get in? Yes, he does. What an effort by Heat. Touchdown, Mississippi State. First off, look at the throw. This throw is a bullet. Over right over the linebacker's head, and now pushing Mississippi State back to the five-yard line on a second down and 11. Again, a three-man rush. Pass is caught out over the 20, goes Austin Williams. Looks like that might have been deflected. The State quarterback has had time to sit in the pocket. Look at him survey the field. Came around, got to almost three different progressions. Rodgers 14 of 17, 116, but that drive stalls at the 21. Tucker Day. Here goes Smith down to the 40-yard line. Have <laughs> to get back to him. <laughs> Very far away, huh? Yeah. Nice little pitch. Got that away to Smith. Has a lot of room to run. First down inside the 30, down to around the 26-yard line. And it looks as though Mike Leach will suffer a third consecutive loss in an offense that is struggling, to say the least. Texas A&M. Back-to-back -back wins. They win it 28-14.
Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.